Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to install the AC-130 and C-130 missions and models. Not only that, I will also teach on how to orbit around a target with the AC-130H so you can properly aim the cannons and also hit targets. And on the very end of the video, I will answer some questions about the development and why the model doesn't have certain things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So starting, you first of all will go to the What's on the Live page, okay? Go on Recent, go on All Time. Then after that, you find the C130 mission somewhere. I will still have to post it. I'm doing this tutorial before posting it. Uh, so for example, I think this is one, the, the Subarine one is the C130 version. You will click on Download, you will download the mission okay it's a zipped archive so you need winhar or 7, or 7 zip to uh, unzip it okay so after you have downloaded the mission you go to winhar okay find the mission where it's downloaded in my case it's firefox so you go to the firefox folder and click two times on the mission by the way mine's a blender icon just because i set it to open all the archives that are zipped to open with Blender, don't worry about that. Yours might be different. But anyways, find where you have downloaded the mission, open with WinHa, open two times, and you see this C130 and AC130 mission. Find a suitable folder to export the WinHa, the zipped arc, unzipped archive. So for example, here is where I have downloaded my mission on a zipped format and this is the unzipped one, so I'll just grab it and copy over here. Now, while you have this one open, I suggest you do the same. Uh, open a Windows Explorer. You can close the WinHar now. Open a Windows Explorer on one half of the screen and another one on the other half. On the one half over here, on the left one, open the mission folder, unpacked, unzipped. Then, on the right one, find your what on the directory if you're on steam you can just click a button and it will show the directory right away but if you have it installed like at the launcher like i have uh, you have to find it uh, my case is on the e drive on music and music no. uh, because I, I decided to install it over here and what under okay uh, on yours might be c drive user user programs yeah you, you can find it anyways but after you find it Make sure to go on content after getting inside the water on the folder. Make sure to go on content. Let me let me see if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Go on content, and when you reach this right here, where it says base and etc., grab the go inside content and on the left side of the mission, and simply Control C and Control V. Don't do anything else. The mission is now the models are now installed. Now, go over to what under over uh, again, so you see over here, and try to find user missions. Go over to user mission thing over here, and just copy, uh, just drop it on top. Don't drop on top of the folder itself, just on the white side, on the white part. Replace, blah 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 blah, blah. and that's it. The mission installed. To prove to you, I'll go over to what under wait for it to load etc and in the meantime i'll answer some questions the first question that some people gave to me was why don't you add the drone hover mechanic to the ac-130 so it's easier to hover and etc uh, the answer to that is i tried couldn't have couldn't make it work simply the, co the code was there but it didn't work suppose that uh second question was why does the flares do not go further on the aircraft. Uh, like Fly Daily said on his video, on recent updates of War Thunder, they made so the flares would not shoot out as with as much force as they used to. That kind of broke the flare pattern on the AC-130H and C-130 in normal C-130. I have no idea how to fix it. I tried increasing the force of the flare dispenser so it like it is it has the speed of light throwing the flares out and it still doesn't work which is a shame i hope they fix it on the future gaijin fixes it on the future but on the meantime it's quote unquote broken it works it can deflect missiles and etc but 
yeah, on the meantime, it's completely quote unquote broken. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think that's pretty much the m most important questions. Uh, now, le let me load it, the mission. Now, after you have translated both of the files, this one over to what and the content, specific inside content, so the PKG local is over here and go back to what and, and you override overwrote it overwrite it the user mission with this user mission right here you can now open water under after open water under go on user missions cho choose one of them like for example the ac130h task fly the ac130h combat mission or the c130 task fly or the c130h combat mission choose one of them on my case i'll choose this one because it's already in the app so we wait for it to load and that's pretty much it you have the whole mod installed now another question third question if you see water hold on let me lower the volume of this thing if you spawn and you see water your screen is towards the water you installed it wrong simple as that uh, if you see water and the only way to exit the supposedly water uh, area is Alt F4 or close and what under you installed it wrong. So try to follow the things, the tutorial as thorough as possible, carefully, okay? Just mimic what I've done. And if you're on Steam, is it is most likely that you have the content. By the way, if you're on Steam, pay attention. It's most likely that you have to create this PKG local by dragging it like I, I've done, okay? And that should work. If you don't have the content folder, which I doubt, create it too. Okay, and that's pretty much it and that's how you install it now after all of that I will also be giving on the files uh, I will move to the the file the zip file my control schemes aka test C130 okay so you open it how do you open it you go to controls then import file which is this this file folder uh, file icon over here import file and over this navigator it is a navigator file navigator like the windows explorer just uh different simple as that it's, it's a, nav a file navigator so go over to your d drive or c drive and find the test c130 blk file control click on it press open and you have the how can i say the controls ready on my case i have a full fledged keyboard meaning i have the numpad on the right side and I set it some things like for example the pitch and your control row the control all to the numpad. Uh, if you are on a notebook or a non full fledged keyboard, I recommend you reassigning the keys to the main keyboard. Now, what keys are necessary for you to orbit around? Mainly, mainly the hover sorry sorry the trim elevator trim as you can see down there and after you assign that key on my case i have eight for pitching up and two on the numpad for pitching down eight on the numpad for pitch up and two on the numpad to pitch down after that uh that's pretty much it and you can see that we are already orbiting around use your rudder on my case it's q and e on the normal keyboard to activate the rudder for left and right and but that's it after, and not only that after you have key binded the pitch up and trim up and trim down which is over here aircraft full rear controls and trim elevator trim numpad 8 for all the way up and numpad 2 to all the way down uh, you have to you have to select and key bind a button for quickly toggling between controls on my case i have one button on my mouse mice mouse one of the two and i quickly press on it to switch between controls for example if i press it the button on my mouse which is mouse button four i can switch quickly between control types this is mouse aim the normal what under control this is simplified this is realistic and this is full uh, for the trim to work i recommend you go all the way to full most of the time and after you are on full simply trim up to 22 percent and you'll be Orbiting around. See? Now, what else? 
uh, go on the camera view with full rear controls on, press 7, on my case, on the file control file that I, I gave you, it's 7 on the numpad is night vision. You can switch that to whatever you like. And after you switch to night vision, you'll be able to see the icons for the little circles for the guns and just uh, send the rain. See? And that's it. Have fun on the missions. And I think that's all. Thank you for downloading. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I would very much appreciate it. Not even subscribe, but consider subscribing. It helps me keep doing this stuff. If you could share the video to other people and tell them to subscribe, I would also very much appreciate it. And I just hope you who are downloaded the video, sorry, the mission, have fun on it. Okay, that's that's simply. Yeah, and as you can see, we are orbiting around. <laughs> I'm really happy with this, this mission too. <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, one last thing. After this consider subscribing thing. Uh, the normal engagement range for the C-130 is maximum 200... 200... No, 2,500 meters. As you can see, let's see if I can activate the the target point oh yeah by the way to make it so the laser sorry the laser fixates you go over here target point oh aircraft target point and activate target point and deactivate target point in my case it's uh, it's the dot and comma and to deactivate is just the the i don't know like this little thing right here anyways so the maximum engagement range for the C-130, AC-130, is maximum 2,500 and the minimum is 1,500. And that's it. That's it. That's it. The, the end of the... Oh, yeah. Forget about that. Try to not pull too many Gs. That's it. Consider subscribing. Have fun on the mission. And bye-bye.